Hello to the side channel people. You guys are all really nice. So currently right now I'm not wearing makeup and uh, my skin has not been like the best. And I was like, hmm, am I gonna film this intro without makeup? Heck yeah, that's more of a reason to, so don't mind me. This is episode two of the series I've been doing. The amount of incredible positive comments on the first one. First off, I found out it's really unsafe to wear plastic on your head. Don't wear a plastic bag on your head. So I love to talk about mental health and identity on my channel and I wanted to make it beyond my own personal narrative. I wanted to get in different perspectives and things like that. So on my Jesse Trash Instagram account, hello, I put all these questions and I asked you guys to submit clips of you answering. So thank you so much for opening up. Um, it's really, really cool. I'm, I'm proud of you, hello. Love my people. Thank you for supporting the series. A way to support it even more is to give it a thumbs up, send it to friends that would appreciate it, comment, like I think that stuff helps. Even just like sweet comments and stuff makes it all worth it. And down below I want you to comment what topics you would like to see in the future. Okay, love you, mm, bye. I have experienced bullying before, kinda sucks, but it was actually by um, my best friend for seven years. Yes, I was bullied from year one when I was six, all the way through to year seven when I was 12, by the same people the whole time, pretty much. I myself have been bullied all the time since I've been in school, which is nine years, and it sucks. I had a lot of negativity in my life for a very long time. It got to the point where I could no longer handle it, and I started to self-harm. I have experienced bullying. Quite a bit, actually. Even on two occasions, I actually got quite injured and sent to the hospital from a bully. I'm currently um, being bullied pretty bad. A few times I've witnessed friends getting bullied by the same people that bullied me. When I was younger, I had the confidence to stand up to those people, but the more they bullied, the more I would lose confidence. And in the end, I just started to put up with it. Yes, like my friend, she's gotten bullied for having big lips, which is funny because some people get popular for having big lips. A lot of my friends go through bullying and it really hurts me to see other people hurting because I know what it feels like. The friends that I did have when they were bullied as well, I became so protective that I started lashing out at the people who hurt them and I became a bully myself. I seemed to unleash all the negative emotions that I had kept up on people who had hurt other people. I've also seen a friend getting bullied and I want you to know that if you see one of your friends or anyone getting bullied that you should step in or at least tell an authority if you don't want to get involved. Don't ignore it, that is what I did. And I don't think it was very good for me because it just kept going on. But I felt that I was too shy to like stand up to it. Tell a teacher at school. If you're being bullied at school, tell a teacher. I know a lot of people tend to think that bullies will then have it out for them even more because, oh, you snitched on me. Um, I'm gonna get you for this. It, that's not how it works. If you tell the teacher, most likely it will be stopped and they will not talk to you again. Reach out to other people who are going through the same thing and just know that you're not alone in it. The bullies do not matter. You are a perfect human being and you are so amazing and you just need to remember that they're insecure about something and they probably think you're perfect. They probably want to be you and that's why they are so mean to you. Just know that you did nothing wrong at all and the bullies usually struggle with their own problems. If it was you that was in that position, you wouldn't like it, so why are you doing it to other people? Just stop. You might be bullying people because you're insecure yourself, but taking it out on other people won't help. If you think you're overweight and then you bully somebody who is known for being overweight, then that that's not good because you're bringing other people down with you. Please, please stop. You don't know the emotional struggle and the emotional, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just so bad. And I'm, I am promise in a week, in a year, in 30 years, you're gonna regret it. Just choose kindness because if you can walk down the school hall and wave at someone or smile at someone and say hello or like high five someone, those small subtle things that can make someone's day make all the difference. Take a step back and think about your actions. 
you need to understand that even if you're trying to protect someone that you love, hurting other people is never an okay thing to do. The real daddy of 2019 is of course, Jesse Page, our father, we stan. Shawn Mendes, 10 out of 10, would recommend on Yelp. Like just, Shawn Mendes is the ultimate daddy. He's the daddy on all the, all the, all the years. He's just, he's daddy, yes. Honestly, I'm gonna put it out there. Klaus from Umbrella Academy. Dad. Obviously me, next question. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Jesse Page. It's actually you, Jesse. You are the daddy. Oh, and also Shrek. Shrek is a freaking daddy. Shrek, he will always be daddy. Probably Brendan Urie, because I think he's daddy of every year. Star Girl or something like that to do with astrology because I just love it. A dummy's guide on how to be bad trash. She tried to be cool but failed. Weird girl. I don't know. I don't I don't think I'll ever write one. <laughs> what an icon honestly like all of her merch quality her content quality i mean honestly what else could you ask for she's taught me not to put my hair up too tight jojo siwa has made the largest impact on my life and i really look up to her considering she's six inches taller than me 